The cooling system of the vehicle is not complete without the radiator. The hot temperatures coming from the engine must be dispersed. The engine may overheat if the radiator is not functioning properly. Knowing the signs of a failing radiator is crucial for this reason. In this brief video, we discuss what occurs when a radiator malfunctions or becomes clogged. We will also discuss its typical replacement cost and how to diagnose it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Low Coolant Level The coolant level might become dangerously low if there is a leak. The engine will overheat if there is not enough coolant. The fluid may also begin to appear contaminated. Whether it's green, orange, pink, yellow, or blue, the coolant should be vibrant and flowing freely through the engine. The coolant starts to look rusty or oily if the system is sludge contaminated. This contaminated fluid may also thicken beyond what it ought to. The radiator struggles to move this heavier fluid, which contributes to the same overheating problems. Overheating Engine Once the radiator is sufficiently damaged, the engine frequently overheats. The radiator cannot deliver the cooling power required to disperse the heat if there is a clog. When the hood overheats, you might notice steam or smoke coming from underneath. Additionally, the temperature gauge will be set to the danger zone. More diagnosis is required because there are many other problems that can cause an overheating engine. For instance, a broken thermostat or faulty water pump can also cause the engine to overheat. It's crucial to stop driving as soon as you notice that your car is getting too hot. Coolant Leak An excessive amount of pressure can cause a leak when the radiator's fluid cannot flow properly. If the pressure built up in a hose, you might find the leak there or at the radiator. In either case, a lack of fluid can quickly lead to the engine overheating, particularly if the system is deficient in fluid. Therefore, it is important to address any coolant leaks right away. High Temperature Readings You probably know where the temperature gauge usually reads if you're used to driving your car. The coolant is getting too hot when it starts to read just a little bit higher than usual. If you pay close attention, even the smallest temperature variations will register, giving you the necessary early warning that something is wrong. The fluid cannot cool because of the obstruction, which raises the engine temperature above normal. The engine will eventually overheat if you let it run on its own, and you risk damaging the motor. Damaged Radiator Fins The metal radiator fins are susceptible to damage. The fins are vulnerable to debris, such as rocks thrown up from the road, because of where they are located. If you drive off-road or down a dirt driveway, this issue happens even more frequently. The airflow might suffer if the fins are damaged. As a result, the engine begins to overheat because the coolant is unable to maintain a normal temperature. Heater Malfunction you might not think that the radiator has anything to do with the cooling and heating system, but that is untrue. The warm air produced by the car's heater is a result of hot coolant passing through the heater core. The blower fan then assists in blowing this warm air into the cabin. A hot coolant may not be able to reach the heater core if the radiator becomes clogged or if there is a leak. As a result, you might experience difficulty getting warm air out of the vents. How to test Running a coolant pressure test is the best way to inspect a radiator. You can use these guidelines or the instructions in your factory service manual to perform this test. Start by topping off the coolant if necessary before the test. You might prefer to add just a little bit of water right now if you intend to drain the coolant out of the system. Before working on the car, let the engine cool. Under pressure, coolant can get very hot. Pull the radiator cap off. Connect the pressure gauge to the radiator's top. An adapter might be required. Locking the pressure tester into place is necessary. From the radiator cap, take the system side. You don't want to put more pressure than this. The pressure tester should be pumped up to this point without exceeding the required psi. Most systems support pressures of between 13 and 16 psi. Rapid gauge declines may indicate a leak. A minor leak, however, might also cause a slower drop. There usually isn't a leak if the level doesn't decrease over the course of 30 minutes. You could now take the pressure tester off and replace the cap. It's a good idea to look for any damage on the radiator. If the front seems to be blocked with debris, you might try cleaning it off to see if that helps the airflow. Radiator Replacement Cost For a radiator replacement, budget between $200 and $1,000 on average. If you can't do the swap yourself, the part may cost between $100 and $600 with the remaining cost going toward labor. The kind of vehicle you drive and the cost of labor in your area also have a significant impact on these prices. The radiator replacement process takes different amounts of time. Some automobiles have an accessible radiator that can be replaced in under an hour. Usually, additional components are required to complete the task. To refill the system, coolant is required. This is also the time to change any hoses or clamps that are damaged. A new thermostat or radiator cap might also be added to the mix. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.